us. Hello everybody, my name is Sensei Jamoki. And my name is Sensei Afi. And we're from Zenshin Martial Arts Academy. We have teamed up with Around the World in 79 Days to bring karate to you in your home. The idea is that because of lockdown, uh, we are not been able to be as physical and we're not able to meet uh, with our friends and family and these are going to have effects on our physical and mental health. So the idea is that we can do karate and interact with each other whilst getting fitter, stronger, healthier and hopefully we can all be happier by the end. So I invite you guys to join us for the next 79 days and see um, how far you can get in the kind of um, progress you can make over this time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start. Yeah. What do you need to say? I just want to welcome you to our dojo. This is where we're going to be filming the classes. And before you start training with us, make sure you have a, a clear amount of space. It doesn't have to be loads of space, but even a couple of meters that's clean and you're not going to hit anything. One important thing about hitting is that we are going to study a martial art and that is very important that we don't start using it on our brothers, sisters or our family members. We shouldn't be playing with the techniques that we're, that we're practicing here. Um, we do this for self-defense and that is the most important thing. So you've been warned, please show uh, respect and control and self-discipline when we are practicing karate together. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, that's it, us. Okay, we're going to start. So we're going to open the class up a traditional karate class. And I would like you guys just to follow along. We're going to be using Japanese and English in these classes. So hopefully you can learn um, so a new language as well. Okay, so the first thing we do is muscle budanch. We put our heels together and our hands by our side. This is our uh, standing to attention. Now from here we go into Cesar, so we're going to bring one knee down on the floor and then we bring the other and we sit back. So my toes are touching behind me, they're crossed like this and my hands are on my knees. If you're a boy, you can have your legs open and girls have your legs closed like a sensitive view. So we're going to do a little meditation now, so we put our hands together over our belt, we close our eyes. And we breathe in through our nose and breathe out. Make these breaths nice and slow. Breathe in, breathe out. Last time, breathe in, breathe out. Open your eyes. Okay, Sensei, could you say the salutation? Sensei, oni gai shimasu. Right? Os. Good, let's get one leg and then we step back. Right? Os. Os. So, what uh, Sensei said then, she just uh, welcomed everyone to the class and basically addressed uh, the Sensei, the teacher. To start the class, that was all we said, and then by uh, when I say Ray, that's a bow, and that is just a way how the Japanese would traditionally show respect. Should we should we have a go at bowing to each other? Because this is what they do. So we put our feet together, and you can look at your partner if you have one, and you bow. Us. Notice how I don't look forward the whole time. I my my head follows my body. So us. Good, okay, well done. This is how we will show respect. So whenever I'm bowing, well, this is how I'm going to show respect. And we do it to each other. Okay, so let's get warm. We're going to start with a little warm-up. So let's, everyone, we're going to just start by bouncing on the spot. Good, so I'm just on my toes. And I'm just keeping relaxed. Let's count to ten. Let's go in English first. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. Let's try again. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we've got one more time. Me and Sensei are going to count in Japanese now. Okay, go. Ich, nin, san, shi, go, ruku, shichi, hachi, kyo, jo. Okay, and stop. 
Good job, everybody. Reach up. Good, and touch your toes. You're going to come down. Good, and come back to the middle. Let's go round with our arms. And let's go backwards. Good, okay, and yame. The first Japanese word that you should learn is yame, and that means stop. So whenever you hear yame, that means to stop what you're doing, okay? It's a very important word to learn. So now, this time, we're just gonna lift our knees up in front. We're gonna use our arms as well. We like jumping on the spot. But I really want you to try and focus on lifting your legs up using the arms. Let's count in English again. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, keep going. Keep going, arms and legs. Okay, we're going to count in Japanese. You can try and follow along or have a listen. Go. Inch, ni, sa, shi, go. Ruku, chi chi, hachi, kya, jia, and yame. That's a good job. I want everyone to put their arms in the air and breathe in and arms down. Breathe out. Just breathe in again and breathe out. Okay, a good stretch we can do from here is put our feet together and put our hands up in the air. We're going to be nice and tall, then we're going to lean over to the side like a banana. We look up to the sky and try and balance. Okay, let's come back to the middle. Great job, everybody. Let's change side. Good, I come back to the middle. Good, that hands down. Okay, now one of my favourite exercises to warm up is our jumping jacks. Let's start doing our jumping jack, guys. So I want you to make nice, big ones. Good, okay. Let's count in English together. Go. Each, me, san, shi, go, ruku, chi, chi, ha, chi, ja, ja. Okay, keep going. I said English, but I did it in Japanese. I'm just so used to doing it in Japanese. Should we do it in Japanese then, for real? Okay, let's go. Each, ni, sa, shi, go, roku, chi, chi, hachi, kya, ja, and yame. Okay, well done. Shake your legs up. Good, well done, guys. And we can go around with our arms again. And moate, we're going to change direction. Good, now let's. Uh, spin side to side. See how I turn the feet to help me change direction. And just stay relaxed here. Good, okay. Good, and shake it off. So, some exercise that we do every class with our students of all ages. There's three special exercises I like to do. We do uh, push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. So they're great exercises to make our arms strong, to get a six pack, and to get make our legs strong. So we're gonna do these exercises now. So for our push-ups, we can be on the floor here. And what I would advise, if you're starting out to do them, is to come onto your knees. So when you come up, it's not gonna be as hard. So I would definitely practice doing them on your knees first. If you feel more confident in your push-ups, then you can do um, proper ones on your toes. Okay? Maybe even for some people, doing them against the wall would even be easier if you can't get onto the floor. So pick one that is suitable for you. Whatever you do, just make sure you're doing 10 good ones. So let's see how you're going to do it. I'm going to do it on my knees. Okay, I'll do it on my toes then. I'll come over here. Okay, 10 good ones. Let's do it in Japanese. What a great way for you guys to count along with us and learn some numbers, okay? Each. Each. Ni. Ni. Sa. Sa. Shi. Shi. Go. Go. 
Rukun. Chichi. Chichi. Hachi. Hachi. Kyo. Kyo. Jyo. Jyo. Good. And rest. Good. So I'm going to sit back with your arms forward and just relax here. Okay, good job. We shake off the hands. We're now going to go on to our bottoms and we're going to do our sit-ups. So what we can do is um, the easiest version of these would be to do crunches where we can put our hands on our thighs and we're going to try and touch our knees and come back down and touch your knees and come down. If you're feeling a bit more advanced, you can come all the way up and come back down again. Do whatever is comfortable for you. So and say, which ones will you do? I'll do proper sit-ups. Proper sit -ups. Shall I do crunches then? Okay. Let's have a go some tangled ones. How's you there? Know? Go each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Ruku. She chi. Ha chi. Kyo. 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 Good and yummy. Good job, everybody. So let's stand up. Good, we've done arms. We've done our six packs. Let's do our legs now. So we're going to do squats for this one. So we're going to spread our legs and our toes going forward. We can put our hands on our head. And we're going to go all the way down and come up. And now remember, when you go down, don't bend forward and look at your toes. You have to try and look forward the whole time. Go straight down and come back up. Okay, let's try. I'm going to do 10 good ones. So go as low as you can and come back up. Okay, get ready. Itch. Itch. Knee. Knee. Sup. Sup. She. She. Go. Go. Ruku. Shi Ji Ha Chi Ha Chi Kyo Kyo Jyo Jyo And Yame Good, well done So they were our, all our exercises for the day And we're now nice, nice and warm now We made ourselves get strong Let's do a couple of stretches for our body um, Just to relax us So I'll do a couple I know Sensei feels good at stretches as well um, I'm going to spread my legs first here, just a little bit, not too much. Now I want us to go down, see if we can touch the floor, with your hands down. Now I just want you to breathe, take a moment to slow down. Good, so let's go over to this side, we're going to touch our toes. See if we can get a twist on here. We hold it for five seconds. Itch, ni, san, shi, go. Let's come back over to the other side. Another five. Itch, ni, san, shi, go. And we come back to the middle. Good. Now, if you can, I want you to take your hands off the floor and you're going to point in front of you and see if you can reach and balance here itch knee sap she go we're gonna go through our legs now and look, you can use your head and look through as well itch knee sap she go let's come back in the middle good let's walk our up let our feet in we're gonna come back up Good, Sensei, could you give us a stretch? Yes, sure. So we're going to come back to our feet wide and we're going to place our hands back on the floor. But this time we're going to lift up one arm up to the sky. We're going to open up our chest and look up to your hand and give us a wave. <laughs> That's it, let's hold it and bring it down. Now let's swap over, reach the other arm up to the sky Look up towards the hand, hold, and bring 
bring it down. Good. From here, can we bend our knees? You might want to bring your feet a little bit closer together so we're in a squat position. So maybe if you can't bend down this low, you could be up here like this. But if you can drop right down, you're going to try and get your heels on the floor. Let's bring our hands together and rock side to side. For itch, me, sun, she, go. Good. Now let's drop our bum on the floor and we're going to stick our legs out in front. Okay, so first I want you to flex your feet. So flex, I mean like you're pulling the toes towards you, towards your body. So we're pushing through the heels. We've got a nice straight spine. We're going to start with good posture. And now we're going to creepy pull our hands down our legs to as far as we can go. So maybe that's our shins. Maybe we can grab a hold of our ankles. Maybe we can grab hold of our feet. Take a deep breath in. And out, pull yourself down a little bit further. One more deep breath in. And out. Good. Now come back up. Let's let our legs go wide into a straddle position. Flex your feet again so you're pulling your toes towards you. Nice full posture, straight back. Bring your hands in front. And creepy pull, creepy pull, creepy pull your fingers forwards until you feel a nice stretch. Okay, so this is gonna look different for everybody depending on your flexibility and where you're at at the moment. But just be patient with yourself and listen to your body. Take a deep breath in and out. Good, from here let's bring our hands over to one side. Grab hold of the leg, same thing, pull the chest forwards. Keeping that good posture. And we'll get back to the middle. Let's go to the other side. Pull your chest forwards. Good. And back to the middle. And sit up straight. Good. Let's bring our feet together. Last one. We're going to grab hold of our feet and we're going to flap our wings. Our legs, but we're going to call them wings because we call this one butterfly. So we're flapping our legs like there are butterfly wings. Good, so we're just loosening up the hips here. Okay, and now let's put, bring our legs still and we're going to pull our chest forwards towards our feet. So hold it for itch, knee, sun, she, go. Good, okay, and come back up. This time we're going to rock. So we call this one rock the boat. So we're in a boat and we're rocking side to side. We've got our knee coming down to the floor. Okay, so now um, the water's getting a bit choppy and now the boat, the boat shakes and we shake the boat. The body kind of is still, but the legs go side to side. Good, Annie up there. Good job. Let's go back to standing. Shake off our legs. Good, Masubadachi. Feet together. Ray? Oz. Oh, Oz, oh, okay, thank you, Sensei. Yes. I would like to do another one for our arm. If we could send our arm across our body and we're going to hug it in here, I want your feet to stretch up near the top. We hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's change hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to send one arm over the top and I'm going to help it and just try and push it down. Right. How far can you get your hands, guys? Good. Now I'll take the other hand and I'm going to go to the bottom and try and touch. I'm not so good at this one, as you can see, Sensei can do it, but I'm far away. <laughs> How far can you get yours? Are they touching? Good, okay, let's change hands, we'll just shake it off there. I'm using my other hand to go at the top first, push it down. Good, now let's use the other hand and try and go for the top. Can I do it? Can you guys do it? Good, okay, and yeah, man, let's shake it off. I think we should reach up last time and be really tall. 
Paul, it really too good. And let's put arms to the side. And I want us to lean over to one side and look up to the sky. Each me some she go. We're gonna come back to the middle. We can change side. Each me some she go. We're gonna come back to the middle. Good. Okay, one last one. We're gonna put our hands on our hips. And from here, we're going to try and bend backwards. Use the head as well. And we're just going to hold it here. Itch, me, san, she, go. Good, okay. Actually, last one, because I know a lot of us can like, hold a lot of stress and tension around our shoulders and our neck. So I want you to go in a circle with your neck, nice and slow. Make nice big circles. Good, and then we're going to go the other way. Good job. If we look left and right now. Good, and look this up, up and down. Good, then we can go round with our shoulders and make big circles. Itch, knee, san amuate. Let's change direction. Knee, san. Okay, we're going to get your shoulders to go come forward and try and touch them in front, like this. And then we're going to try and get your shoulders to touch behind you so you're sticking your chest out. And try it one more in front and touch. And then back behind you. Good and yummy. So just shake it off. Good. So we'll finish the stretch here. So we'll come into our muscle badatch position. Heels together. Red. Us. Us. Okay. So well done for making it this far. Hope you're a little bit warmer. Feel a little bit stretched, and we're ready to learn some karate. Okay. So the first technique we're going to learn is our chokozuki. That is a punch on the spot. Let me, me and Sensei are going to show you. We're going to do five of them. So we'll be in our ready position like this. We'll start off with one arm out first. And I'll give the count and we're going to punch it. Just watch at home first. Itch. Knee. Sa. She. Go. Yame. Good. And back. Awesome. Okay, so that is our chokozuki, which is a punch on the spot. Can you guys say, practice saying chokozuki? Chokozuki. Oh, and again, chokozuki. Chokozuki. Good. So to make that punch, the first most important thing is, is to have a st strong fist. So I want you to show me your hands. I want you to curl your fingers in first. So your thumbs are sticking out. Give me thumbs up. Thumbs up for you guys. If there's someone in the room with you, you can give them thumbs up. Now, I want you to put your thumbs on the outside of your hand here. See how my thumbs are going across? We don't want thumbs to stick out this way, or to stick that way, or to go inside. They're going to go on the outside and go across. Show me your hands. Okay, looking good. Now, is it strong? You've got to squeeze tight. So we're going to start with our legs spread, just as wide as your shoulders, and your hands are going to come to the side. You guys are going to put your right hand out first here, and see how I'm aiming for my tummy right here. Now, when I give the count, one hand comes back as the other hand comes out at the same time. And see how they twist? The hands twist in the middle. Let me show you from the side, I twist, and my hand, the hand that comes back, comes right where my belt would be, and then when we change, we can go a little bit faster, itch, knee, so, good, yummy, okay, I think you're ready to try, so have a go with doing your best, and um, we can have a go together, so you're Let's put our right arm out first. 
aim for your tummy. Get ready. Itch. Knee. Suck. She. Go. Root. Sheach. Hatch. Cure. Jump. Yame. Cross. Hands come to the side. This is our ready position. Our feet together with Subodach. Ready. Boss. Okay, so how did you do? Good job, well done. So that was our first punch, and let's go over a couple of mistakes that some people make. Um, one thing that people sometimes make is they try and make it really strong, and they will punch and they'll twist too much when they punch. If you look from the side, if I punch like this, I'm off balance here. And if I do try and punch, so say, and so if it um, pulls my hand, and it just pulls me, it's very easy to move me forward. So this is why I want to stand up straight, and when I punch, I'm still strong. So if Sensei pulls me here, I can resist here, and I'm pulling here because I'm so strong. But once I do this, that's where I can come forward. So don't lean forward and take your eyes off the back guy. You're always looking forward here, back up straight, like this. Should we, should we try another 10? Okay, so we from our ready position, we're going to put our right hand, hand out in front again. Okay, so focus, look forward, we've got another 10 punches. Itch, knee, suck, she, go, rook, chich, hatch, kya, jya, yame. Okay, can we try a little experiment? Maybe some of you are working with your uh, siblings, brother and sister, family member. I would like us, if you are, we're going to have a go doing an exercise with them. But please be careful, we're not trying to hurt anybody, but as a way that we can help each other get fast. If you're on your own, that's okay, you can still do this exercise, but just do it on your own. So what me and Sensei will do, we're going to face each other. We're not going to get too close like this, but if I stick my arm and punch out here, I won't be able to touch her, and she's going to do the same. So we both got our left hand out, and we're facing each other. And now, when I give the count, I say each, we're both going to change and punch at the same time. And our hands aren't going to touch, and, but I'm making sure that we're both fast. Each. And I don't want to go to punch her, her fist, I'm just punching in front. Itch. Good, and we shouldn't we shouldn't be able to hit each other. So if you do have a partner, have a let's have a go together now. We're gonna do ten punches and you can copy me and sensei. So if we're here in the middle. Should we first bow and pay respect? That is that is an important thing. So let's just find our distance. Um, you can come forward here. Okay, good. That's good. So we put our feet together, we face them and bow. Us. Okay, and in our ready position. Good, so let's all, let's put our left arm out in front this time. Good, so we're not touching. We're just trying to make each other go faster when we punch now. So let's try this. Itch. Knee. Sa. She. Go. Rook. Chich. Hatch. Jia. Jia. Good, yame. Good job, and bow. Yes. That would be the traditional way in uh, Japanese how you show respect. Maybe here in England we just give them a <laughs> high five afterwards because we work well with them. Good job, okay. So, I think we can make it a little bit harder now. We're going to do double punches. So, we're going to go one, two punches. So we've got to be even faster now. And if we end up swinging our body, this is how we're going to miss and our punches go everywhere. My body's going to be straight forward. I can have one arm out. And when I say, well, when I give the count, two punches as strong and as fast as you can. Yes. Your aim is to be faster and stronger than us. Hopefully, over these, um, these days and classes, we can get you there. Okay, so this 
is our next exercise. You are show me you're ready. Good, just put one arm out to prepare. I've got my right hand is out. So let's try, get ready. Itch. Good, well done. Knee. Sap. She. Go. Rook. Shitch. Hatch. Chuck. Chuck. Yummy. Awesome. Okay, well done everybody for doing that. Two punches already. And we move, we're moving fast and we're making them strong. Okay, so we've learned how to do a punch and that is, can you remember the name in Japanese? <laughs> Memory test here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chokozuki. 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 So that was our first punch and we did that on the spot. Now, you might have noticed I've just picked up my shinai, which is a, a training bamboo sword that we uh, in class sometimes. And what I'd like to have a go at, I'm going to be the bad guy, Sensei's going to be the good girl, <laughs> and you, um, I'm, I'm going to attack your head, I'm going to strike down with my sword, and I'm going to go down this way. And now Sensei's going to show us the first block uh, we might use and that we learn in karate. Okay, so we'll just show you and I want you to watch carefully. So, since they will still be in a normal stance here, she's going to be on the spot. I'm going to move for her head. Good, and she blocked it. And another one. Go. And again. Go. One more. Let's go. Good. Okay. Good. So, that was our rising block. As you can see, the hand started on the side and it went up and blocked the body. Block the head, sorry. Notice, uh, if you come on the side sensei, it's not touching here, there's a gap here. And it can be about as big as uh, just a fist. If it is touching or too close, when I go to hit her, she's going to feel the impact on her head. So she has to keep it away from, the, from her head. Also, she doesn't want to expose all her, her wrists, uh, wrists of veins and the arteries. So she wants to touch with the bone, the hard part of her arm. Good, I'm gonna put this down. Good, so this is our rising block. Should I come back on this side? So, and notice now another important thing is that when we change hand, we make an X in the middle and it comes up on top here. We make an X and block here. And one more X and block. What we'll do here, because it's our first class, we're going to just use the one hand. We're going to keep the hands closed the whole time. Make the X and block. X and block. We're going to try this on the spot, just like how we practiced our punch, and see if we can learn a new move. Yoi. Okay, the move in Japanese is called Aguki. Aguki. And again, Aguki. Aguki. So that literally means rising block. So let's try. Let's try with our left hand first. So our left hand is going to come up and it's going to block your head. Get ready. Itch. Good. Okay. We can work so it's our first time doing it. Knee cross and change. So. She go rook shitch hatch cure cure yame good and super dash okay well done everybody that was our first set we're gonna pick it up and go a little bit faster. I would like to go through one common mistake that people make. And so rather than make the cross and go up, they might come round here. 
like this. I don't want it to come round because remember that attack is coming straight down. I need it to go up. And if the other attack comes, going up this way. If I go round, I miss the attack this way. So we always need to make sure it's rising and not swinging to the side. Okay, let's have our go at a second set now. We're going to be even better. So let's use our left hand again, this side. Get ready. Each. Knee. So. She. Go. Rook. Shitch. Hatch. Chuck. Chuck. Yummy. Good. And bow us. Okay, well done. I'm sure that got a lot better than them, we're all improving. You just see me um, and Sensei then we work with each other. We're going to have another go at a, a, a partner exercise. So if you do have a partner, you can work with them on this. I just remind you just to take it slow and I'm not there to hurt my partner. We're just having fun together, but we're taking what we're doing seriously. We're not playing with it. So um, what you saw Sensei did, she just used an open hand and she's almost just going to like touch the top of my head like this. And if I don't block it now, that's okay. We're not fighting for life and death. We're, we're just having some fun together. We're just practicing the movement. So Sensei will use one hand to just touch your head and I'm gonna have a go at blocking it and feeling that. And then she's gonna use the other hand and block it, I'm gonna use the other hand. And then I give the count each. And knee. Good. So for me, I'm only really practicing just the motion of what we're doing. I'm not trying to be super strong, and Sensei's not trying to be super fast and strong with me. We're working together because this is for you guys as well. It could be your first time practicing this. So please work uh, slowly, carefully, and to the appropriate level. The person you're working with. Be a good partner. Yes, that's very important, isn't it? So should we have a go? We'll do um, we'll do ten on each side actually. If you're working on your own at home, you can just you can imagine, I guess, can't you? And you can just still do the same block, the same principles apply when you do it. Okay, so we face our heart and we bow. Us. Okay. So sensei is gonna hit me first, and then we'll have a go. Um, Swap it over afterwards, okay? So find out which hand we're going to use first. If, we, if you use this hand, and say, and I'll block with this hand first. Okay, get ready. Each, so block. Good. Now we're going to use the other hand. Knee. Sa. She. Go. Rook. Shitch. Hatch. Kyo. Jo. Good, and yame. Good, let's go straight into it. Now, my side, we're gonna be the bad guys and we're gonna attack first. So agree to use this, uh, a side first. We're gonna use this side first. So let's try. Get ready, each. Knee. Sa. She. Go. Rook. Shitch. Good and yummy. Now we put our feet together. Ready. Us. Us. Okay. Us. Thank you. Oh, is that we can do a high five as well? <laughs> Might as well. Good. So well done. That's us. We practice our punches. Can you remember what it's called? Chokazuki. Yeah, Chokazuki is our punch on the spot. And we also practice our argue key. Argue key, yes. You'll you'll get used to the names over over time. You'll be fine. So I think as a bonus, we could just practice one kick as well. So today in our first class, we're gonna practice a punch, a block, and the kick. Cool. So again, we're gonna start from our legs spread here and our toes going forward. We're going to raise our guard up here by our head. We're going to use one leg, we can use the same leg. We're going to pick it up and kick and come down. We use the other leg, lift, kick and come down here. Let me show you from the side. 
So I lift, kick, and come down. Lift, kick, and come down. Okay, so at the moment there's a lot of detail we could go into, but I want you to focus on lifting the leg and the knee up, and kicking and coming down, and balancing and controlling yourself the whole time. Okay, so this one is called Maigeri. Maigeri. Yeah, Maigeri. Maigeri. Okay, good, let's, let's try it. So, we got our guard up. We have 10 of these. I'm going to use, let's use our left leg first. Get ready. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Of the class, I'm going to quickly do a review of one thing or one common mistake some of our students make, and maybe I can help you out here. So maybe they're going to kick, they start off with their guard up, and when it's time to kick, everything falls apart and they come back again and they kick and wobble like this. As you can see, when I'm kicking, if I throw my hands back, that's going to bring me backwards and I lose balance. So it's important that I'm going to kick. Keep my guard up and control it. And then when I lift, kick, it's still there. This guard is to defend myself from any attacks that may come. Any attacks that may come. I need to have my guard up here. If I'm kicking and it's over here, that means somebody could come and hit me. So it's really important that we keep the guard up and we control ourselves. Okay. Let's have another go. We are going to spread our legs. We got our guard up here. Good. It's important also to focus on a point in your room. Maybe you're looking straight forward. And um, that's going to help you balance and just your focus in general. Okay, let's try. Let's use our left leg again first. Itch. Knee. Sa. She. Go. Rup. Shich. Okay, well done everybody. We've learned our punch on the spot, which is called... Chakazuki. Okay, we learned a rising block, which is called... Aguki. And we learned a front kick, which is called... Maigeri. Okay, good job. Okay, so if you can remember that, practice those, and then in the next class we can learn some new techniques and we can make our old ones even better. Nice. Before we finish, I'd just like to do a quick stretch just to cool off our body and just so we, we're better the next time to help recovery as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I just want everyone to reach up to the sky. Maybe I could come on the side here. Reach up to the sky. Now we're going to touch our toes. Maybe follow forward and touch your toes. Good. Now I want you to step one leg back. Yeah. So try and make that leg as, as long as you can. Let's step our other leg back. And so we're basically holding a plank down. Now let's come down slowly onto the floor. Now from here we're going to come into a cobra. So this is where we lift our chest off the floor. And we look up to the sky. I want you to think about having a long neck here. So really push your shoulders down into the floor. Good. Now from here, let's sit onto our, onto our bottom. So we're going to come back, arms are straight, we're looking forward. Good. Now I want to come back into a cobra now. So from here, we're going to come into a cobra. Good, now I'm going to come onto the balls of my feet here and I'm going to push back and we're going to do a down dog position here. So, I'm going to push away from the floor. I'm going to look towards my belly button. 
I'm going to try and get my legs straight as I can and my heels on the floor. Let's hold it for five seconds. Each. Knee. Seven. She. Go. Good. And yame. Good. So I want you to look towards your hands. I want you to step with one leg. Big step. Step with the other leg. And now we're touching our toes and come up slowly. Good, okay. Let's just go around our neck last time. Good, and let's change the other direction. Good, okay. What I'd like you to do is grab your hands and put them behind your back. My hands are, are this way. I'm going to spread my legs and I'm going to go forward and try and get my hands all the way over. Good, okay. Then we've got our hands on our hips, we can go round in some big circles. Good. Moate, change direction. Good, and yame. Awesome, okay. So I think before we leave, I think we should do 10 final punches. Nice. Can you remember what they're called though? Hmm. Chokazuki! Okay, good job. Chokazuki. So this is our straight punch. We're going to do 10 of these and then we're going to end our pass, okay? So let's do 10 good ones. Let's all put our, let's put our left hand out here. Good, okay. Everyone say Chokazuki! Chokazuki! Ich! Ni! Sa! Shi! Go! Rook! Shich! Hatch! Kyo! Yeah. Yummy. Good. Let's end our class properly. So if we all get some space, feet together for Subodach, we're going to go back into Cesar position. So we put one knee down and the other knee and sit back. Boys spread your legs and girls have their legs closed. Let's put our hands together. I'm going to close our eyes. We have three breaths. So inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Moxo yami. So hands back. Or oh, sensei. Yes. Sensei, domo arigato gozaimashita. Right? Yes. Yes. Right, let's get one leg. And we come back. Right. Yes. Yes. Thank you everybody and well done for doing their class today. Can you give your partner another high five? And maybe we should bow to them as well because us, now we do karate, we've got to show our respect like that. So right at the end, what I just said was basically, thank you Sensei for that class. Um, so we do that at the end of every single class. So I kind of said it on behalf of you guys as well, to just show that respect. Us, and that's a very important part of what we do here, is um, to receive respect, is to also show it, be willing to give it to others. And um, thank you guys for joining in today. We did do some partner work. So I just want to reinforce the idea that what we're doing is working with each other and we're not trying to hurt each other. That's a very important thing. Me and Sensei had fun, but no one got hurt. And also we were able to practice our blocks and our punches and make ourselves better. So that what a great way to be interactive with your, your partner, your family member, but without injuring them and um, just having fun together. Please let us know how you got on with this video, whether it's a, com a, a comment um, and anything that you found hard. I mean, we'd love to work on things and make things uh, better over time, um, if there's any techniques as well. 
So thank you everyone for joining. We are going to come back with another class round two and we're going to build on what we've learned today and learn some new techniques hopefully. So thank you for joining and Good. us. Thank you everybody. See you next us. time. Good job. Bye bye.